Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we're gonna to be using the Close to My Heart Cape Cod Scrapbooking Workshop Kit. This collection features some really pretty beachy colors. We've got Lagoon, Bluebird, Periwinkle, and Toffee. I did find a layout that I wanted to scrap lift. I found this layout in the September 2021 Close to My Heart Core Catalog. I'm gonna show this to you right here. It is page number 18. I love how the right-hand side has got the ripped edges and also the layout only had one photo. So that's what drew me in. Here we're gonna go ahead and decide what photos we're gonna be using. I do choose this one. It's a shot of some of my great um, nieces and nephews and it's from the back. I think it's really, really cute. I'm going to start out by matting my photo on the lighter side of the periwinkle cardstock. You can see we're just going to trim it up. Just um, I the edges, when I trim around my photos, I'm just eyeballing them. I'm not actually measuring them out. So I just kind of eyeball when I'm trimming around. We are going to be taking the zip strips off of these two pattern papers right here. And for the background, there's this pattern paper I'm using. You can kind of see it right in the back, that periwinkle. How cool is that? That is, I love that paper. It's so pretty. I think I have two of them. It came with two of them in the scrapbooking workshop kit. So yeah, I've got one more to play with. I've covered up a lot of that pattern on this layout, but yeah, I still got another one to play with. So I did rip the edge down at the right hand side of that paper. And now I'm going to rip the right hand side of this paper as well. Very cute. Look at that. So cute. Now, initially, this is what I was going to use for my title. It says sun and sun and sea. I will end up rethinking that. First, I'm going to add some periwinkle to pretty much all my pieces, all my papers. I'm just going to go around the edges like this. I do this on all the papers, and I do it on that title piece as well. Even though we don't end up using it, I thought I was going to, so that did get inked as well. You can see I'm just using that, what is that called, a desk pad or something, the paper. Um, I'm just using that to get the excess off of my uh, blending brush, so... Go ahead and commit to this placement and then we'll commit to the placement of the uh, other piece that goes on top of this one. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. Like so. Go ahead and tack this down. Now at the end when I am done with the layout I do go back around especially on this layout I did because I had a lot of pieces that weren't all the way down. Um, you saw how I applied that uh, tape runner. So I do go back with liquid adhesive and put some of the edges down. There are often times when I won't put the edges down, but that's only when I want to cause a little bit of shadowing. On this page, I did go ahead and put down all the edges of these main papers. I guess with the exception of the ripped edge, those are not, I did not add extra adhesive over on those side. On that side, it's supposed to look rough, right? So in the workshop kit, it does have a, um, some pieces, they're like pop out die cuts that come in the workshop kits. I went ahead and popped out several of those. We are gonna use this one that looks like the postage stamp. And then I also found my Cape Cod embellishments. This is the paperboard, the brown paperboard embellishments. I found those and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And this right here, guys, is when I decide to change out the title. I wanted to add some of this brown down here. I really liked those birds. This is what drew me in on the on this. I'm gonna use those birds, they're so cute. Um, that's not something I'd normally be drawn to, so that was a surprise for me as well. Uh, anyways, I had more brown, so I needed to figure out a way to make that work. And we will pull in a title from that same paperboard uh, pack. Here's a little journaling spot. We got a sticker right here. The sticker's not going to make it in the end, but that journaling spot does still stay down there. Here's where I decide to move my little die cut piece, pop out die cut piece. I decided to move down to the bottom. I like how that tree right there, how you can see it sitting there right now, it's got that little sun over it. Looks really cute. I do leave it kind of like that. The sun, I mean, we're, the, we're that... Um, palm tree it just kind of fills out that scene with the sun right there so cute right i will add another little extra piece there to build on that i saw that scene coming together and i don't usually do scenes 
but I thought that was pretty cool looking. So yeah, we do keep that. And I do pull this little fence out, also part of the paperboard. I pull that out and stick that down there as well. Super cute. I wanted to bring a little bit more brown at the top. See, I was still with that same title, but I knew I needed more brown. This is a cute little, gosh, what is that called? Seahawk? That's not what we call them. We call them something else. Is that called a Seahawk? Seagull. Seagull. Um, it's a sticker and it was kind of a rectangular shaped sticker. I went ahead and cut around the seagull and we just took the bird out. He is going to land down there at the bottom. Now these are really cool. This says life right here, but there's two pieces. There's this base piece that's kind of white and then there is the toffee piece that lays down over it. Looks really cool. On the page you've got a little bit of dimension because it is two layers, right? So that turns out really cool. Also there's a white piece that says beach on it that is just spelled out. I'm going to use that one as, as well. So it's going to say Beach Life. Now, initially, I wanted to turn it periwinkle. I'm really loving this periwinkle. But when you sit it on there, uh, yeah, it blends in way too much. I am going to end up taking out one of the brown spectrum noir markers. I think it's a tan blend. Let me look. I can tell you. Maybe I can't tell you. No. I took out one of the brown Spectrum Nora markers. I think it was the tan blend. Anyways, took it out. And I'm going to go back over where it says beach. I'm going to go back over that with a brown marker. I do turn this these little white um, bottom portions of the letters. I am going over those with Periwinkle. It doesn't give it a whole lot. But it gives it a little, a little bit of something. Now, that does, does that not look better, that beach? You can see I'm coloring it with a, with a marker right now. Does that not already look better? I know it does. I agree. Alrighty, I am going to be using the T-square ruler to go ahead and just try and line it up. After I took my ruler away, it still looked crooked to me. I don't know what the deal is. I It doesn't really now that I'm looking at it in front of me in real life. But see, look at it. I'm sitting there trying to straighten it up a little bit. I used a T-square ruler. It still looked crooked. It still, when I'm looking at it on the video, it still looks crooked. <laughs> All right, so we're going to commit to the rest of the title, which is life. So it's going to be beach life. Super cute. We've got over on that left-hand side, we do have another one of those little brown paperboard birds. And I also pulled out an acrylic bird as well up there. I'm just going to be using the art glitter glue, liquid art glitter glue to put these down. I'm also going to be using that liquid art glitter glue on my acrylic piece. It looks absolutely fine. You can't really see anything underneath it. Underneath it the um, art glitter glue does dry clear. I'm just going to put some ink around that die cut, and then I'm also going to put some ink around the edges of my photo. Uh, probably it leaks over onto the photo, but you can just wipe it off. I didn't. Um, I just now put my finger down there to touch the photo, and nothing's coming off. So it, if it's all on my photo, it's dry, and you can't tell. Looks good. So we're going to go ahead and build our scene down here. Everything's going to be where it was originally placed. The only really thing, I special thing I'm going to do down here is I do put the seagull up on some foam tape. And I add a little acrylic, another acrylic seagull down there at the bottom on that scene. Put it kind of by the sunshine. Here's my seagull. I'm going to stick him down on foam tape. How cute is that, guy? That's so cute. I don't know if it really matches the picture, but I don't care. It's so cute. <laughs> right here, I'm going to go ahead and put this piece of driftwood, driftwood over the top of the paper, almost like a piece of washi, right? I'm only attaching it to the photo portion. I'm not attaching it onto the paper behind it because I want to add this other little piece right down there. And this almost looks like a tab, right? It's another little piece of driftwood. Really cute. That one is underneath the top one because the top of that photo is not, even though it's not on foam tape, it's not all the way down on the paper because I didn't put adhesive up toward the top. So I am going to commit to the placement of the birds. And then we're going to finish off with some sequins. After we do that, guys, we are not going to be doing anything else to this layout. I forgot to tell you, this is Mini Kit Monday. Mini Kit Monday, the first layout 
for August. So please make sure you hop over there to Dolly and Kathy's channels, see what they came up with for their summer, their first summer layout for Mini Kit Monday, August 2023. Thanks so much for joining me. If you'd like to support my channel, go to beckybidding.closetomyheart.com. Check the links down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.